Hey, what's going on, everyone? Today is March the 31st, 2022. I knew this would happen about Mullen stock. I know a lot of people may have been questioning about, man, is Mullen stock going to go up? Take a look what happened yesterday. The market actually ended up 28, almost 29 percent in a day. Now, what does it mean? I'm going to break it down. I'm going to show you all what I think the price and Mullen is going to do next so that we can be prepared for the price move. If we're going to continue to go up in price, then we're still sitting good in my last price prediction. If not, then you might just need to take the bag now. Welcome. This is HFN, also known as Houston News. I do price predictions without the confusion. I mean, look at my chart. I'm going to break it down. I'm going to show you where I think the price is going to go before the market actually gets there so that we can profit. All right, so if you guys appreciate the videos that I am producing, the content that I have here on this channel, hit the like button instead of being also subscribe. You're not going to get any realer than what I do because I literally place my idea on price charts so you all can actually see what I think. I'm not just here running out the mouth and telling you that the market can go up, it can also go down. That doesn't benefit you, it doesn't benefit me. We need to think of a bias as to what is the likelihood of seeing the market go up versus the market going down. So check this out. It wasn't long. I did a video in Mullen all the way back here on the 25th of March, right? Yep, telling you all to look for the price in Mullen to go up. Now, take a look. I'm going to keep it a buck. I'm going to keep it real. I'm not going to hide. I'm not going to run. The market in Mullen went down the first three days following my video right here. It wasn't going up. But then the buyer showed up just yesterday. Yeah. So that still gives me confirmation that this stock is still strong, that the market doesn't want to completely collapse just yet. Wow, isn't that amazing? So we're already on course to let this price in Mullen do what it do, which is go up, right? So you can see it though, right? I did have this first trend here into the market in Mullen. This is the stronger trend. Obviously, the price broke that. So that is not a logical trend that we should be following. Nope. So let's get rid of it. Now, the buyers came into the market at Mullen right here. Check this out. Look at that. So all the way back here in February of 2022, just last month, the beginning of February. The market utilized that level as a restriction point and as support. You can take a look. Let me zoom in so you all can see it better. So the market closed right here on February the 7th, right there around $2.25. The market was rejected on February the 9th and it went as high as $2.25. What do you know? market in Mullen right there on the 25th of March it closed or it went all the way down as a low to two dollars and 26 cents amazing again March the 29th the low in Mullen was two dollars and 23 cents this is not a coincidence these markets actually tell us what the expectations are it shows us what they think the buyers stood up Mullen's price at $2.25 is what I'm trying to say. The buyers did not let price fall below that level because they're still bullish. Because the overall sentiment of Mullen is still one of bullishness. That's why the market went up 29% yesterday. So now the question is, all right, cool. Where do you think price is headed now, though? In Mullen, how high? Well, just like I showed you where the buyers were at, the sellers are also situated on this chart. Do you know where they are at? If we know that the buyers are around $2.25, then where do you think the sellers are at? Exactly, right here. The first bout of selling in Mullen is still going to be around $3.50. Look at this. January, mid-January, we have already established that, that this area was acting as a lid. The buyers could not take Mullen's price above this $3.50 price. They couldn't do it. They tried it right there on March 21st. They tried it on the 22nd. They even tried it on the 23rd. All three days they failed. 
Yeah, they didn't. That wasn't successful. And it's kind of like what happened here. Look at this. February the 1st. The buyers tried to break Mullins' price above $3.50. They couldn't do it. They tried again on the February the 2nd. They couldn't do it. So this is a logical point for us to say that this is where the sellers are at. Meaning that they're going to try to sell their Mullen stock into this market to bring down the price. They want to take the profit. So we got to be prepared for us to at least nibble off of 350, meaning we need to take the profitability there. Because what if the buyers cannot overtake 350 and bring Mullen's price higher than that? Yeah, we need to take that 17 and a quarter percent profitability and be happy with it. Now, let's say the buyers are able to overcome three dollars and fifty cents. The next area is going to be here. Four dollars. Yeah, four dollars. And then the third area is going to be up here. The biggest area is around five. I can really see if the market has enough ability, the buyers have enough ability five dollars won't be an issue at all in Mullen right so I'm playing the strength to the market in Mullen I'm still looking for price to go up basically the market confirmation happened yesterday to tell us that we're still on par to let this stock go up now we got our price targets though three fifty four dollars third area ultimately is five dollars right now, I'm not here to say that it, it will hit five dollars but I'm here to tell you that the strength on this chart was confirmed yesterday. Right? Look at Mullen on the five day. Okay. Do you think that's bullish? Do you think that's weakness? Look at Mullen on the two day. If we look any way right here, let's say we look this way in the next eight hours and 31 minutes, let's say that the bar completes looking like that. That's bullish. Okay. This is the three day. Weekly time frame. Just look at the chart. This chart is actually speaking. It's actually, if you know how to read a chart, you don't have to add technical indicators on your chart because this chart actually tells us what the majority of the market thinks. I mean, think about this. Let me give you an example. All right. Look at this right here. What do you think this means? This weekly price bar right there. Right. Look at the spread of it. Comparative to what we recently gone through. Like, why is that spread so wide? Why did the market in Mullen on this particularly particular weekly price bar went as high as $16, $15.90 and as low as $9.90? What's what really happened during that time frame? What happened right here on this weekly price bar on November the 15, 2021 is what was directly causing price to fall like this weekly price bar should have told you to be prepared for weakness that is why Mullen fell because of this this was the biggest indication to tell you that this market in Mullen was extremely weak it, that market was giving us the answers all the way back in November all right so I'm still looking for the price of Mullen to go up you guys got my price targets before you leave, go ahead and give me yours. I'm not changing my price prediction. Um, still looking for price and mullet to go up. So now I want you all to let me know where do you think we're going to go, though. All right. Make sure you maintain the profitability. And as always, trade different.